What's going on everyone? I hope everyone's doing well. I'm back in the garage here, gonna work on the Z some more today. So as you saw from my previous video, the brake project is done. Today is actually Saturday and tomorrow is import face off. So today I'll be spending my time detailing the car. So I figured I would just show you guys how I detail my car. Maybe I can give you some helpful uh, tips. I'm not a professional detailer by any means, but I'll just show you what's worked for me over the years and what I like to do. I apologize if I sound a little sick. I got a little head cold that I'm fighting right now, but I uh, still got some stuff to take care of, so gotta get to it. So I'm gonna pull the car out of the garage, get my wash bucket set up, and then first things first, we're gonna wash the car. <laughs> Alright, so when I wash my car, I use three buckets. I use this one for the body, this one for the wheels, and then this is just plain water for rinsing. Alright, so let's get started. So the car is all washed up, so before I go ahead and polish and wax the car, I always like to use a clay bar. I use Meguiar's. Actually, all the products I use Meguiar's. Um, not for any in particular reason, I just like the, I just like their products and that's what I've used and I've gotten the best results with them. And basically what that does is it removes any contaminants that don't come off during the wash. So when you use the clay bar, you have to use some type of a lubricant. You can either use quick detailer. Um, I personally use, just use water from the hose. I do it right after I wash the car. Once it gets dirty, you can just fold it back up and then I'll show you how much actually dirt and grime contaminants you pick up with the clay bar. This side's after doing one door and rear quarter panel, and you can see this is the hood and hatch, this is the door, so like I said, you'll pick up a lot more dirt and grime from the door, and you know, the lower you go towards the ground. All right, clay bar is complete, took a lot of nasty stuff off, so now we can dry it off, pull her back in the garage and start the polish and wax process. So we got the car back in the garage. Looks really good as it is, but we're about to make it look even better. So the next step that I do in my detail uh, process is I apply uh, some polish. I use, like I said, Meguiar's Ultimate Polish. This helps especially on darker cars just to give the uh, finish like a deeper, glossier look. It's important to note that you should apply the polish in small areas. Uh, you don't want to let it fully dry and you want to make sure your finish is nice and cool. You don't want to apply it on a hot finish because then it'll dry. This process takes a little while because you have to do it in uh, small areas, but in the end it's really worth it and gives the finish a nice deep look. car is polished starting to look really good nice reflection it takes me forever to detail my car but in the end it's worth it It looks great and I'm happy so I'll be using the uh, Meguiar's ultimate paste wax it comes in a paste or a liquid wax I like the paste I think it holds up better and lasts a little bit longer but they're both great and you can use whatever you choose so if you don't already know you apply the wax to the whole entire car and unlike the polish you want this to dry a little bit to a haze and then you can go back and buff it off with a microfiber cloth so let's do this
All right, car's all done. It's all waxed up, looks super good. Really can't wait to see it out tomorrow in the sun. All right, the car's all done. That's pretty much my detail process. Everybody does something a little bit differently, but that's what I do, so maybe it'll help you when you uh, clean your car. Super excited for the event tomorrow. It'll be the first one for me in Jersey, so I can't wait to get the car out there, see how it looks in the sun, and uh, just enjoy some, some racing and a car show. Just to finish up a couple odds and ends, uh, vacuum the interior, finish the wheels, that sort of thing, and the car will be all set for tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching. I hope this may have helped you in some way. Uh, it's a little bit of a long process. It's, it's taken me about three, four hours or so, but it's worth it in the end, and your car will be nice and protected and clean. Thanks to all my viewers and subscribers. Uh, I can't believe that I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers. That just It just blows me away. I never expected this from the channel, but thanks to you guys, this is possible. I think I'm about 9.30, 9.40 or so, so 1,000 is right around the corner. I'll be doing a little giveaway for that, so stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit subscribe as well as turn on the notifications. If you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions, anything to say. All right, I'm going to get back to finish this thing up the rest of the way. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next time.